Hello students, welcome to the concept single tune capacitive coupled amplifier. The last video I explained about small signal tuned amplifier. There the tune circuit is at the base. Now this is uh, the single tuned capacitive coupled amplifier. Actually this amplifier circuit is a single stage of multi stage tuned amplifier. Okay, when this is let it be the first stage of the multi-stage tuned amplifier. Its output is connected to the next stage. Here, uh, the tank circuit is uh, the collector. Means in the place of RC or in the place of load, tank circuit is connected. So, how it works is this amplifier will take the entire frequencies of the input signal. It amplifies all the frequencies. But at the output, it will get higher amplitude only for the resonant frequency part and all other frequencies gets rejected or attenuated and that signal is given to the next stage again the same signal gets amplified by the next stage okay so now we'll do the analysis of the single tuned capacitive coupled amplifier in the small signal tuned amplifier we derive the current gain here in the single tuned capacitive coupled amplifier we are going to derive its voltage gain okay say the circuit Yes, uh, R1, R2 and uh, C, these are for biasing. Yes, this is the blocking capacitor and the, this is the coupling capacitor. These two are to blocks unnecessary DC. And here is the tank circuit. See, uh, the tank circuit is a parallel combination of L and C. But remember, inside this L, there exists R. Okay, so actually this circuit is like this. Like this. This is LS. And this is RS. Okay. To analyze any tuned amplifier, yes, we know we have to go for hybrid pi equivalent circuit. Okay. First of all, my suggestion is you must be very thorough with the hybrid pi equivalent circuit, the general hybrid pi equivalent circuit of a CE amplifier. If you know it clearly, then a drawing hybrid pi equivalent circuit for this amplifier is very easy. Yes, this is exactly a CE amplifier, but what is the difference? The load is replaced with the tank circuit, that's all. So, for that reason, you must know first the hybrid pi equivalent circuit of the CE amplifier thoroughly. Then you can add this tank circuit at the output stage, that's all. Okay, so now, let us go for the hybrid pi equivalent circuit. We all know this. This is all a familiar one. Okay. And the output side, what we connected, we connected C and LSRS like this. And the output is connected to the next stage. Yes, here is the output. That output is connected to the next stage. So, in parallel with the output resistance or output part, you are going to get the next stage input impedance or input resistance RI. Okay. I think you all know about the hybrid pi equivalent circuit very well. Okay. Let us simplify this circuit. First of all, we have to separate this feedback capacitance and feedback resistance, okay. To separate these two, we know the very well method Miller's theorem. So, by the Miller's theorem, we can separate these two. As it is the circuit, see the circuit, RS, RBB dash, the RBB dash is the base spreading resistance, followed by RB dash E, the voltage across RB dash E is nothing but VB dash E. Yes, next is CB dash E. Next, RB dash C input part is RB dash C by 1 minus AV. CB dash C input part is CB dash C by 1 minus AV. Actually, we won't consider directly capacitance. We will consider its reactance. But to mention the capacitor name, it is CB dash C by 1 minus AV. And the output part, it is GMVB dash E, RCE output resistance. The output part of CB dash C is CB dash C into AV by AV minus 1. Output part of RB dash C is RB dash C into AV by AV minus 1. Next is the tank circuit C LSRS and this is the output and that output is connected to the next stage. So, next stage input impedance comes into picture. Okay. And we know what is AV? Remember AV is minus GMRL. What is AV here? AV is the voltage gain of uh, voltage gain of the CE amplifier. Not the tune part, remember, not the tune part. It is just the voltage gain of CE amplifier. Because we are using this one to separate CB dash C and RB dash C. 
Sibidashi and Arbidashi C are the elements of that ancestor or I can say elements of the CE amplifier. So your voltage gain is voltage gain of the CE amplifier. Don't include tank circuit here, tune concept here. Okay, so now the next reduction is, is we know Arbidashi C is always high. So as Arbidashi C is always high, it may be R B dash C by 1 plus G M R L or R B dash C into G M R L by 1 plus G M R L. Both are high. So you can open these two. Fine. That is one point. And L S and R S. The series uh, part can be replaced by the parallel part. I explained that in the previous video. Yes, you can replace this series combination of LS and RS with the parallel LP and RP if their admittances are equal. So now, by considering all these things, I am going to simplify this circuit. Yes, see the circuit. This is a simplified circuit. Yes, input VS, RS, RBB dash, RB dash E. Yes, this remains same. Yes, RB dash C by 1 minus AV means RB dash C by 1 plus GMRL can be neglected and you have two capacitances CB dash E and CB dash C by 1 plus GMRL. As these two are parallel you can add these two. So that is that I considered it as CI where CI is CB dash E plus CB dash C by 1 plus GMRL. Fine. Next is the output circuit GM VB dash E. RCE is the output impedance. So, the, so just I changed the notation as R0. Okay, and this is already opened, and the remaining part is yes. Here, I'm very sorry, it is the capacitance. Yes, the next part is CB dash C into GMRL by 1 plus GMRL plus C. So, I considered that capacitance as C equivalent C plus CB dash C into GMRL by 1 plus GMRL. Okay, and then LS and RS series circuit is replaced with the two elements RP and LP where RP is omega square LS square by RS and LP is LS. Okay, this is the V0 and the V0 is connected to the next stage. So, the input impedance of the next stage comes into picture or it becomes parallel to our circuit. Okay, is yes, now we can further simplify this circuit. See this? The circuit it remains same. Coming to the output, it is GMEB dash E. Here you have uh, three resistors in parallel R0, RP, and RI. So just uh, make parallel combination. Let it be RT, where RT is RP in parallel with R0 in parallel with RI. Okay, then is LP and C equivalent. This is V0. Okay. So now coming to the V0, is yes, we are going to find the voltage gain of the tuned amplifier remember so what is v naught v naught is the voltage across this total impedance yes this is the collector terminal and this is the current ic and this is minus ic what is minus ic minus gm vb dash e minus gm vb dash e current is flowing through this entire part of the impedance so your v naught can be written as Yes, your V0 is minus GM VB dash E by here I considered like uh, V is equal to I by conductance I by G. Okay. So, what is I? Minus GM VB dash E in the circuit. In this circuit, what is I? Yes, it is the reverse current minus G, GM minus GM VB dash E. And what about the admittance part or conductance part as this is resistor? Its conductance is 1 by RT. So, it is 1 by RT. As this is inductance, its conductance is uh, uh, 1 by J omega LP. Yes, this is the capacitor. Actually, its reactance is 1 by J omega C equivalent, but conductance part is J omega C equivalent. Just, uh, what about VB dash E again? See VB dash E. VB dash E is the voltage across RB dash E. Now, RBB dash in the circuit. Let be VI. At base, we have VI. So now this VI gets divided into two parts. One is across RBB dash, another one is across RB dash E. Okay. The voltage across RB dash E is nothing but uh, VB dash E. So what is VB dash E? VB dash E is nothing but 
वी आई इंटू आर बी डैश ई बाय आर बी डैश ई प्लस आर बी बी डैश ओके सो हियर सो नाउ वी बी डैश ई इज वी आई इंटू आर बी डैश ई बाय आर बी डी आर बी डैश ई प्लस आर बी बी डैश एंड दिस इज द एडमिडेंस पार्ट ओके सो देर फोर वोल्टेज गेन ऑफ द टू नैम्पलीफायर Previously, we have seen one voltage gain. That is the voltage gain of C amplifier. Now this is voltage gain of tuned amplifier. So what is the voltage gain of tuned amplifier? Output voltage of the tuned amplifier by input voltage of the tuned amplifier. So you have here the V I. So V not by V I is minus Z M R B dash E by R B dash E plus R B B dash. Yes, for this denominator part, you take R T. You take one by R T common, and then move that R T to the numerator. So it will be R T by one plus J of omega R T C equivalent minus R T by omega L P. Now the resonant frequency omega naught is one by root L P into C equivalent. Tuned circuit is at the output part. If you see the output circuit, output circuit consists of inductance L P and capacitance C equivalent. So the resonant frequency omega naught is equal to one by root L P into C equivalent. Remember, if if it is only the tuned circuit L N C, the the resonant frequency omega naught is one by root L C. But here the tuned circuit consists of the inductance L P and capacitance C equivalent. Hence, it is one by root L P into C equivalent. Now this L P can be replaced with one by omega naught square C equivalent. So your A V becomes this. Just in the place of L P, substitute one by omega naught square C equivalent. Okay, so just from this, you take omega J omega naught R T C equivalent common. So you'll get omega by omega naught from the first term. You'll get omega by omega naught, and from the second term, you'll get omega naught by omega. Here define a quality factor, effective quality factor Q effective. That is omega naught R T into C equivalent. So now you can replace this omega naught R T into C equivalent with the Q effective quality factor, effective quality factor. Effective quality factor can also be written as R T by omega naught L P. Remember this Q effective or the resonant frequency. Terms of the formula varies according to the circuit. Okay. Now this is the equation after replacing omega naught R T into C equivalent with the effective quality factor. We are also define a term called fractional resonant frequency deviation delta, which is omega minus omega naught by omega. What is omega? Applied frequency, and omega naught is the resonant frequency. Okay. So now, yes, omega by omega naught minus omega naught by omega naught. So this omega naught by omega naught get cancelled. So delta is equal to omega by omega naught minus one. So omega by omega naught becomes one plus delta. So omega naught by omega becomes means if you reverse it, yes, omega naught by omega becomes one by one plus delta. But this deviation always uh, yes, uh, the tuned circuit reject all other frequencies. It takes only it it gives highest amplification only to the resonant frequency. That is the reason the deviation between the applied frequency and the resonant frequency is very small. Means. You may apply different frequencies. You may apply lot of frequencies, but it allow only certain frequencies. In those certain frequencies, it gives highest amplification only to the center frequency or resonant frequency. Okay, means suppose uh, if this is the case, if this is the amplifier response, this becomes omega naught. Okay, this is your applied frequency. So what is the difference? The difference is very small. So as delta is small, one by one plus delta can be replaced with one minus delta. So totally, this term is omega by omega naught minus omega naught by omega is this term is one plus delta, and this term is one by one plus delta, which is one minus delta. So totally, you'll get two delta. Okay. So totally, this A B becomes minus G M R B dash E by R B dash E plus R B B dash R T by one plus J two Q effective delta. A V matrix. This is the overall voltage gain of the tuned amplifier. Suppose if you want to find the overall voltage gain at the resonance, that is at omega equal to omega naught, 
consider that term as AV at resonance. Okay, if you substitute omega is equal to omega naught, it totally becomes 0. So, you will get this term becomes RT. So, your AV at resonance is minus GM into RB dash E by RB dash E plus RBB dash into RT. Okay. Now, just take the ratio AV by AV resonance. Right? You are going to cancel. Is these two terms gets cancelled, this, this RT gets cancelled and it will be with only 1 by 1 plus J 2Q effective delta and as you have taken mod, it becomes 1 by root 1 plus 2 delta Q effective whole square. Okay, this is 3dB bandwidth of the single tuned amplifier. The 3dB bandwidth is simply 1 by 2 pi RT into C equivalent. You can derive this by solving this AV by AV resonance equation. Okay, but for you the derivation is not required. You can remember only this part. So that is bandwidth is or you can represent the bandwidth with delta F. It is 1 by 2 pi RT into C equivalent. That is omega naught by 2 pi into Q effective as Q effective is omega naught RT C equivalent. And uh, you can write omega naught by 2 pi as say this the FR resonant frequency. So delta F is FR by Q effective. Okay, so this is the analysis of single tuned capacitive coupled amplifier. Okay, why this uh, the term? I forgot to explain why that concept capacitive couple. Okay, yes, I explained this is the single stage of multi stage amplifier. To connect the output to the next stage, here we used SEC, means capacitor, that is the reason it is called capacitive coupled amplifier. Okay, thank you very much. In the next video, I will go for double tuned amplifier.